Well, hello everybody. Uh, John Neal here. Uh, retired chalkboard artist. 11 months now before, since I've done any professional work. So, and uh, I've done one or two videos and uh, I have another little job to do for somebody, a friend. So it's just as a, um, a favour. So I thought I'd show you how it was going to go and see if we can not generate 10,000 followers on my uh, YouTube channel, which would be great. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? 10,000. Um, and of course, I'm not only uh, retired, I'm also a granddad. And um, my granddaughter, here she is, um, has got the Californian vibes already with the shades on. And um, yeah, she's 5,000 miles away, unfortunately, but uh, we'll be going to see her soon. Um, right, to make this board, it's a hanging board and it's just to say two words Kimberly Green. Kimberly Green. So I'm going to use just a one stroke uh, all the way through Kimberly Green and uh, yeah, let's show you how I do it. Right, well, first of all, this is the board I'm going to use about this, this long. Uh, it's plywood, uh, looks like 9mm plywood, and as usual, I'm going to use some masonry paint to paint the board. It's smooth masonry paint and it works very well for this sort of project. You don't need uh, blackboard paint, certainly not an oil based one. This is absolutely fine, just the job of treat. And put it on with a, a, a roller and uh, yeah, that works extremely well too. Um, right, the other thing while we're here, I'll just leave that to dry now, and I'll, by the way, done on both sides. You'll notice I've left it off this end, I haven't cut the board yet, because as I work across, so I should put the word Kimberly Green, Kimberly being the longer word of course, put the word Kimberly across here, and then work out where the end of the board will go, cut it off, and then a fit green on. So the Kimberly at least will be nicely centered. The other thing to do is, here I've drawn around the uh, board so I can have a practice have a practice let me just quickly go through this idea of having a practice on this piece of cardboard by doing this um, you get a feel of what you're going to do in one go um, and it's important to, to get that right so that when you come to do the, the work it looks like uh, it's done spontaneously but in fact you've worked out exactly the shapes you're going to use the lettering and how it's all going to fit together so you've had a good run through i was listening recently to a very fine uh, british book illustrator who's now in his 80s uh, quinton blake he, he illustrated all the roll dar books with beautiful uh, pen and ink drawings with uh, watercolour they're absolutely fantastic and he was talking about the fact that it looks just so easy to do when he he's filmed of being do, doing them but what in fact he does of course is to plan each one in turn gets everything exactly right changes things rubs things out just a sort of a pencil sketch first and then having done that he'll do a pen sketch and then he'll put a watercolor paper over the top of on a light box so the image comes through and then he'll do the the, the final uh, version uh, on the watercolour paper but he's gone through a lot of processes to find the, exactly everything that he wants so he knows exactly what he's going to do and so in the final uh, draft that he does it looks spontaneous and he wants it to look a little bit spontaneous but in fact he's practiced it through quite a few times to get it right and that's the sort of principle I'm on here get a bit of cardboard work it out go over it a few times, get it right, and then when you come to the board you can do it flowingly, good word, flowingly, and uh, and, and get it look uh, pretty good, but you've planned it all through in the first place. I think it's time for more tea. Mmm. Yeah. Right, I'm going to use this 12mm um, brush. For those in the ancient world, and um, that of course is um, half inch, I'm using Liquitex Acrylic Artist Colour with this uh, half inch brush. Right, uh, so I've got a bit of water here because I want to thin it down a bit. 
So um, let's just make this workable. Quick slip on here, that's flowing quite well. Kimberly Green, so let me just roughly work out where this is going to go. Kimberly Green, there's a, a, a G got to come off the bottom of here, so I've got to be careful on that. Let's see what we can do. Right, this, as I say, is just a really a bit of a practice. You can also, while you're doing this, work out the sort of shapes of the letters you're going to use as well. Right, so, hmm. Let's, um, that looks pretty good. But it's only going to need to be about that long. There will be a couple of holes to hang it up because of the hanging sign. So I think from there to there would be pretty good. Okay, let's transfer that onto the black. So I'm quite pleased with that and um, all that's needed now is to possibly touch up a few places with a small pen but I'm going to cut this board off here and then I'll be able to uh, finish this edge off and um, I'm thinking about putting a border around it I'm not sure it, I think it stands up to it uh, on its own without one but uh, of course I've got to do the same on the other side and a crucial um, schoolboy error is to turn it over and do it upside down. That's wrong. Make sure you keep it the right way up. Hey, hey, it's been done. It's been done before. Yeah, oh, it's been done before. Anyway, uh, nearly 10,000 subscribers. So if you do subscribe, you could be one of the lucky ones that, me that gets me to the top. So thank you very much for listening. By the way, any music that I've used is uh, from a, a lovely um, couple of folk I heard recently and all the details of Sophie and Dan who play on this uh, were uh, are in the sort of description. They were very, very good. And, and to, to be honest, her fiddle playing and Dan's um, hurdy-gurdy playing was flawless the, the, she didn't put a note wrong like the beautiful way that she plays i mean i've heard a lot of fiddle players in the past some are better than others and she was one of the best so check them out good very talented and i thank them for allowing me to use their music right okay thanks for watching and uh, i'll see you again soon